everybody. Welcome to the second episode of New Player Podcast. Once again, I am your host, the sultry Shane Silvera. Uh, I am once again joined by the ever lovely Jessica Martinez. Hey guys, how's it going? The thumbly Dan Friend. Yo, what's up guys? And of course, the guy behind the screen, the Google of all sorts, the one, the only, Thomas. Bow down. <laughs> Thank you, Tom. <laughs> all right. So, um, since last episode, I failed miserably at introducing my um, two co-hosts here, Dan and Jessica. Um, <laughs> we got right into talking. I feel like maybe the nerves kind of crept up on us a little bit, and we got right into it. Not necessarily a bad thing. I feel like, you know, the episode had its... Um, it's kinks, but it still turned out pretty well. And um, anyone who's listening to episode number two, thank you. I really appreciate Thanks, it. guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, thank you. And I feel like this one might be a little smoother. So you know what? Let's call this episode one, since we'll have all the introductions out now. You already know who I am. I'm Shane. I'm living in the Inland Empire. I play <laughs> games. But what about these other two? Jessica, what we want to know from you. When did yeah. you start playing games? What got you into video games? Give us a little about yourself. Oh, man. Uh, so, yeah, Jessica, uh, I'm currently living in Washington State right now. Um, I would say my younger brother actually got me into playing games. Um, we were into a lot of the old stuff on Nintendo, for sure. Um, I was really into Willow. I feel like I probably played that game <laughs> way too much <laughs> the big fan of the movie then love the movie um <laughs> i know people are not a big fan of it but you know, i will stand by that till the day i die like it's amazing come on so good it's an amazing so movie good. Yeah, absolutely. i i barely remember that game was it a regular nintendo game willow it was a regular nintendo world. game yep yep um, it's a pretty epic cover, you know, it's like holding the sword. It's like, oh man. Yeah, we need what's to, load in? We yeah, need, I remember we need I can Google see. here. I know if Tom Google. was any good at Googling, he would have this real <laughs> game pulled up in a second. Yeah. Just it's so good. <laughs> Maybe the sword, cast. Like, what? Or, yeah, absolutely. Oh, a Capcom <laughs> game. Interesting. If there was a time when the developers we knew of these major developers today made these small little games like Willow, like Capcom making Willow is interesting. And this was like uh, this was like a RPG kind of you know like I feel like this was like the first one I ever played this style like this kind of style game you know oh you actually took the time yeah. to play did you beat Willow? that's what I'm saying did you oh, beat the game I Tom beat what this year game several times like numerous times I, I even did not have even it on that. the computer I'm on right now <laughs> I have like an NES simulator on this computer and it's on here it's hopefully the they come out with like the 30th anniversary Look how epic of that is like is that not epic. You. That's pretty, oh, that's that's not. Tom, what's his name? I know, I, I know Val Kilmer's name. What, what's the cast of him? Um, he, he was also in um, An Idiot Abroad. He came in on the third season, and he actually traveled with Carl on Idiot oh, Abroad. Oh yeah, that's a great show too. The um, little uh, Warwick, Warwick Davis. Thank you, absolutely. Oh, yeah, he's a his great name. actor. Yeah, he pops up, and he is amazing in that show with Carl. Interesting. Wow, Moral Jessica, of the story, you might guys. Be Go out and play Willow. If you haven't yeah, played it, saying. find out a way to play it and play that like ASAP. I'm telling you, you will not regret Take the it. Take dust off that cartridge and just plug that shit into your NES, dude. Blow, Get down, dude. Blow that cartridge as hard as you can, man. <laughs> a deep <laughs> cut from it. Jessica. Limited, I have release. Not, Limited I have, release. Willow was amazing. <laughs> That's, I, I have no idea. heard too many people bragging about playing willow but jess you're the you first. know what i, I haven't them. met too many people First who reason. know what i'm talking about when i say it you know so <laughs> i remember the cover art. i was not disappointed because the cover is exactly how i pictured it it's, so I'd seen it's it. rememberable man i told you absolutely. it was an epic cover absolutely wow all, all right. around great game great game great movie a plus will so well interesting <laughs> so i know both your brothers so you know um a peek behind the curtains here. Jessica, Dan, and I are all longtime friends. We've known each other for the better part of the last 20 to 25 years. Yeah, I met well, Jessica back in elementary school. I met Dan back in uh, freshman year of high school in Miss Bogner's um, health class in freshman year. Good so times. Good we times. all go back quite far. So I know Jessica's family fairly well. Um, so Jeremy didn't play that many. I'm sorry. I shouldn't be using names. I'm going to bleep that out. So don't worry about the name. I'm going to bleep the name out because we guys should ask okay. these people. Don't bleep it. Keep it. I'm going to bleep it out. So your older brother. We'll call him older brother. We'll, yes, we'll refer to him brother. by the first initial of their name. We'll call him Jay. <laughs> Jay. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Everyone in family, everyone the just Jay in family Little has Jay. the first name. Yeah. But, the um, Jay so Little you, Jay. You say, 
You said you started playing games with your with your younger brother, brother. Jay. Do you? Yeah. Yeah, So um, Willow, I actually played on my own. Me and Jeremy, obviously, a lot of Super Mario. You know, Mario Three. Um. Oh, didn't. I don't know if you guys will know this one either, but Spy Hunter was a huge game that we played on Nintendo as well. Oh, interesting. Google that bad boy right there. <laughs> I love hearing the mechanical keyboard that I they have so never good. I have never heard that shit. What, what is Spy, Spy Hunter? Hunter? Oh, it's a oh yes! Game. You drive in the back of the trucks and like the yes. trucks and then you get like smoke or oil and you can like spin them out of the back of your car and like, you know, people go out of control. <laughs> you crash up. It's like really good. It's like, it's so I remember this one. I totally remember it. Okay. Amazing. Uh, amazing. All right. That's so awesome. Yeah. Wow, what a retro flashback. Okay. Yeah, man. Uh, like Nintendo, it, like, like, you know, Nintendo started it for me. Uh, we did play some Atari, but, you know, like Pong and like that kind they of stuff. They had a PlayStation Vita version of this game. That's pretty gnarly. Yeah. PlayStation yeah, 2. Yeah, so it was. Okay. It obviously had its fan base if it came out for PlayStation 2 and hey guys, Vita. Yeah. I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay. No <laughs> more down Jess, guys. I mean, I know we didn't want, I know we were trying to keep her out of this, but right, damn it. We got to keep her around. Here we are. All right. Wow. So, and then so you said Jeremy got you, uh, you saw him play a lot of Mario. What was, what was your younger brother? What was Jason into? When he was, um, so Jason, and I would say, didn't really start gaming too heavily until like uh, the first Xbox, and then oh, okay. that's when we were playing a lot of like you know Tony Hawk Pro Skater, which so stoked on the one and two that's going to be coming out. Oh, good, good. Because Tony Hawk Pro Skater Two was like our yep. shit, you know, like we played the heck out of that game, man. So good. By the way. <laughs> Today is um, August twelfth, the Wednesday, and the Tony Hawk demo for those who pre-ordered it comes out this Friday. Yes. So yes. apparently, it's only fifteen minutes worth of the first warehouse uh, as yep. a demo, mm -hmm. and the reviewers are saying it's amazing. I got <laughs> yeah, a lot of I got a lot of friends how talking can you about go that. Wrong with that. Yeah. How could it be bad? It's a lot of people are on board that? to relive Come that on. memory, dude. Holy that's a, that's a, yeah. like a household memory right there. Early PlayStation days. Do you happen to know if they're keeping the original soundtrack? They said to bring a lot of them back. Yes, they, they, they did list soundtrack, and they're yeah. all the, like Power Man Five Thousand. It's literally the Agent Orange song, dude. Get that Agent Orange song. That's what made Tony yeah. Hawk Pro Skater Two so good because the soundtrack. Oh yeah, absolutely. What's the what's, yeah. the what's the what's the actual date of when they get to try that when that demo comes out? It comes out this Friday. Demo is available for those only who pre-ordered it, and I believe the game releases next month in September. Yeah. If that's um, Tom can just Google that for us. Twenty twenty. August yeah. 14th, 2020. Oh, uh, yeah. So, yeah. Expect it. Expect it this Friday, the demo. And then uh, for those who pre-ordered it. And then again, uh, actually, same. Uh, that'll The Tony Hawk demo will be going on the same weekend as the Avengers open demo for PlayStation 4. Mm -hmm. So the Avengers mm -hmm. demo is open again this weekend. Which we had experience. I'm sorry. We're, we're getting off track here. Okay. Sorry. Again, we're... we're, 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 we're <laughs> Get, we're not, we're, we're gonna ignore Dan things, again. Guys, okay? We <laughs> we, we, we had this... ourselves a time with those it's, Avengers. <laughs> it's gonna take us four episodes <laughs> to get through all of our backstory. So <laughs> let's go ahead, Jessica. I loved hearing it. Um, I like hearing how your brother. I knew your brothers played games growing up. Your older yeah, brother, definitely. who hopefully Sunday will get on this podcast, is getting to. We will streaming definitely now. have him on for sure. I would love to get you know into Jeremy's mind about how streaming is going for him, and just how, it seems like it's such a hard thing to get into, like. Just, I guess, yeah, podcasting man. Honestly, too, we're having our own struggles. I feel like that takes a lot of like dedication, dedication. for sure. It really Especially does. Especially when your wife gave birth to a daughter, not two months when you started deciding to stream. But it's a smart thing because it's something you can do from home. Smartest totally. thing ever. Now everyone's working from home. Perfect time yep. to start up streaming, podcasting, time. whatever it might be. Definitely. Awesome, Jessica. I love hearing it. Dan, same question to you, man. I know you're, you have a house filled with young boys, you had a house filled with video games, comics. Everything a nerd could, could dream of you had within those houses. Luckily, you had a dad who seemed like a nerd, which probably everyone needs around the house. But what, what games got you into a, a, what would become a lifelong of gaming, a hobby you would never put down? Well, I mean, like, you know, honestly, like, um, gaming never really began for me until Super Smash Brothers, to be honest with you. Like, <laughs> I hate you. I, I mean, you like, you know, it, it really just ties everything in together for me. I mean, I know it's a very popular game and a lot of people grew up with it and it's just like yeah i got you know like, uh, super smash Bros. i get down and everybody likes no. to talk talk sorry, big on Dan, you know their their you their skill level let me interrupt so dan's talking about super smash Bros. i i know people talk about games they like and games they're good at i i don't want you thinking this is one of those things 
Dan and his brother are insufferable people to play this game because they will <laughs> smash the shit out of you to the point where it's not even fun. And they're, they're fun, merciless. Yeah. They're merciless. Dude, you will never people, win around. They are merciless. I've met people that get so technical with that game. They literally, they, like, I can't even touch them. They're so good. Like with all the like wave dashing that Melee brought and everything like that. There's yeah. there's certain techniques that the later installments brought that just really don't allow you to really like get a grip on your friend if they've mastered the way to do these technical things like like the wave dash was like i i the, this guy his nickname was bobo believe it or not i mean like you know uh, literally uh, totally not like you know like he, what you would picture like a clown or anything like that he's just one of, does he still go by that nickname i i would say yes dude okay like, because honest. he left a comment on our youtube page and i i remember i used his regular name and i oh. recognized him instantly from high school Arthur the sweetest J, yeah. dude ever i love yeah. Arthur. Yeah. He's a nice guy. He's a nice guy. i yeah. miss him he was in the avo crowd avo one another mm -hmm. one of the sweetest dudes ever invented like totally i'm sorry <laughs> this isn't about these guys this is about you and your child and growing up with you <laughs> and, I, and i know it wasn't just smash i know you guys were totally smashed but you're also big into these adventure games i know you did Dan. dance is what we call a lore fiend he likes his his story mode so like basically like i mean like i, I it started out like with just super simple nintendo like I I went to my uncle's house and him and my aunt were on the on the richer side or like you know more wealthier than than I was. I didn't really like dive into this new age tech stuff uh it really when I was younger cuz like my parents weren't really into it but like he had an N64. He showed me Mario 64, Mario jumping through paintings. I was just like they're the my uncle's literally the one that gave me my first NES. So he's showing me N64. I get down on Mario seeing a whole different level of of you know 3D obviously. The, 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 I'm young, so going from 2D to 3D is quite a jump at that point in time growing up in the 90s. I mean everybody can most certainly agree that that you know had their seatbelts buckled for that experience, but um it it, it it was really just amazing seeing that kind of dimension or new depth to mario that i've never really seen before get, getting away from the 2d nes stuff so God, um my fr my my, yeah. uh, my my mom worked for this tax uh uh um company that kind of helped with with taxes and tax returns kind of like a before the age and uh, the day and age of h and r block so right. uh the the well, owners a person the, the the owners of this company like had you know they gave their kids whatever they want. So like we got, we got, we got in cool with, with uh, his kids and they showed me super smash brothers. And I was just like, Holy crap, this is amazing. Literally seeing all these different characters from different games in one game. Like, you know, that, that was exciting to me. So like I, it was literally a good conversation starter when I was with, with, with my homies or, or meeting friends when I moved from Anaheim to California, uh, Corona, California. So basically close to Disneyland, Move into the suburbs. Didn't know anybody in Corona. I met this guy named Devin, which you know we don't talk about that guy anymore. You guys kind of kind of a weirdo, but I mean, like, I'm not judgmental. I don't judge anyone. But, but but like I mean, like you know, time moves on. Like what 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 whatever. You know, like I, right. I honestly, I, I you know, I I can think no no nothing about him. You know, but yeah. he introduced me to like you know I I asked him, hey, you play Smash Brothers, so he says yes. That's common ground. A really easy way to find common ground with friends is ask him, do you. Do you play these games? Game. Do you play yeah. these multiplayer games? So you can kind of know what they like, what they don't like. So he introduced me to Metal Gear Solid, you know, get into super, super into one player games and that lore factor you're talking about. And I start really like understanding that, wow, these games are more than just this basic, you know, competition. There's actually art in them. And I grew up around uh, a family that is really deep down into, yeah. you know, pop culture and the art that goes into it. So, like, uh, uh, it, it was just really fascinating to know that, like, you can literally get this really meaningful experience out of games and not just this excuse to get together and have a good time, you know? Like, there's there's actually, you know, more more depth to it. So, got, got, got into that and, and it started, like, you know, I, I I developed a hunger for for broadening my palette of gaming, and the, the, all these other games came with it: Resident Evil, Ani Musha, Devil May Cry, um, Mass Effects, Bioshocks, uh, Skyrim's, Elder Scrolls, all, all this crazy stuff that comes out of like games. And like I game, I just really just learned to appreciate it as a really awesome art form. So I mean, like, there's a lot more to it than that, but it literally started with talking about Smash Brothers with randoms that I would meet and develop a relationship with. 
<laughs> oh, you're right, Sam. Yeah, that's <laughs> it. That's a, I mean, like, that, like, that's a, that, I mean, that puts a that's a, that puts a, a, a nail in the pit there. I'm so fucking sorry. Like, should I have kept going? I mean, like, I was going for a while. No, like, I like it. I uh, totally dig it. And I, and I knew that's why I wanted to, I wanted to dig into a little deeper because I've known Dan for a while. And uh, Dan, if one there's one thing Dan and I have always connected on. It's these deep lore stories. Like we don't play video games. I mean, this is going to sound very pretentious. I'm, I'm I'm walking down a very pretentious golden road right now. But like <laughs> golden road, like we, it really is an escape. And like I've always stayed away from the multiplayer stuff the first because I'm garbage and my I have a shaky aim. My grandpa had it and it got passed on through the ages. But Dan and I have always connected on these deeper story games. Like he mentioned, Metal Gear Solid has been a favorite of our group since the beginning of time. Halo. Um, it's another, you know, fan favorite of ours that we've played together. I remember playing land parties with Dan over at Kyle's and shit with the whole group there. And we had eight people deep. Everyone either had their consoles <laughs> or their computers hooked up. It was either Halo or WoW. One of them was going down that night. Or Final right. Fantasy XI. Final Fantasy XI was a big one for us, too. But MMOs, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, one of our first, our first Christmas in Arizona, um, the friends that we met, we just land halo that was like what we did for christmas you know it was like four TVs in the living room like it's, it was I, great it. yeah i'm a 32 year old i i still want to do this stuff i i, I can't admit I would, it yeah <laughs> i feel like halo was the beginning of yeah. literally what gaming is today yeah. halo literally like, yeah. is the game the, the experience of like like getting an online a, community getting a bunch sure. of like people they, yeah. together like your team versus my team let's let's see who's who's the best you know and absolutely it's, and it's probably split by why you grew up with because for me it probably would have been counter-strike that was me actually mm -hmm. going to land centers in sixth and seventh grade trying to play in 1.5 oh, yeah. what, what was the place what was the little place cyber zone cyber right zone. By, right off cyber smith zone, and Dick, baby right, by, right down the street from corona high that was yeah, good man. yeah man cyber zone uh, I love it. I love it, guys. Just Jeremy exactly used to go over there and play like Warcraft all the time. Oh god, yeah. There was Cyberzone. And then we'll get another episode, you know, there's almost topic for today going into uh, modded games, you know. Um Counter-Strike, Day of Defeat, uh these these games that were just so pinnacle born off of Half-Life, but um I loved hearing that from you guys. I love hearing the background of how people, you know, because it's never boring. When you hear the games people played as kids, it's always Definitely. interesting. Yeah, I it feel is. Like it's something different. Exactly. There's always that, like, but, one or two games that are completely different, you know, where people are like, wait, what? Or, oh, I never played that. That's awesome, you know? Exactly. Like like, yeah. <laughs> and I never even played Willow, and I still had a nostalgic flashback on it. It still right? evokes that same emotion out of me. So. Totally. totally. Yeah. But um, that also kind of brings us to our next topic, which is um, a seamless transition. What other console was Willow available on? <laughs> I'm sorry. No, that was that was subtle. That was subtle on this. on Apple. It's an iOS. No, it's an Apple. Some, <laughs> something we want to get into. Anniversary. Go buy it. <laughs> something we want to get into. A very hot topic that's going around right now. The Willow. Um, <laughs> no, I'm sorry. <laughs> I like it. Um, uh, console exclusivity. Uh, a very hot button topic because of the. Um, fast approaching Avengers game that comes out early September. I want to say September 4th, but um, Spider-Man coming exclusively to PlayStation. I don't think it's a time thing either. I, I think it's just PlayStation and people are upset. Um, Jessica and Dan console console exclusivity. I've had a couple shots guys. You guys are going to have to excuse me. <laughs> Friend or foe. Jessica, what are your opinions on it? What is this a good thing or is it a bad thing? Consoles kind of hoarding certain features. Um, you know, I have always been a fan of it. It doesn't bother me. Um, but I have also been very privileged as in I have always owned the all the consoles. Very you know, I've point. always had an Xbox, I've always had a PlayStation, always had like, you know, Nintendo, Wii, Switch, whatever it is. So be it. Um so to me it's not a big deal. Um yeah. I can see how for other people, you know, that sucks. Like, if you just Absolutely. have one console, for sure. But I think it's kind of great. And I think it's kind of good for the companies as well because, like, that has made me... I bought a console specifically just for one game, you know? Absolutely. That right there alone. Like, I bought... Yes. Uh, like, I wanted PlayStations just for Uncharted. I wanted Xboxes yes. just for Gears of War, you know? So... Incentive. That right yeah. there alone, like shit, yeah, man, I'll go ball, spend that extra money. Like, I want to play all the games, you, you know. Absolutely. <laughs> if it means Damn. that much to yeah. me, I'm gonna do it. I've been playing 
you know, Gears game since 06. You know, Absolutely. man, like I'll Gears fan. Buy whatever console I need for the rest of my lifetime to play those games. <laughs> yeah. And how else do you how else do you build brand loyalty? Like this exactly. is, that's marketing 101. That to right build there. brand loyalty, you need exactly. something exclusive. Absolutely. Dan, what do you think? I, I feel like you might have opposing views knowing you. Well, I mean, like, honestly, like, it, it could go uh, an opposing way, but it, it also could be agreeing with with the general consensus. So, like, I mean, like, when it comes to, like, uh, console being, you know, having exclusive material, like, to me, it, it's not only incentive to buy the, the console or what have you, but it, it also lets you know, like, what else do you have to offer? You get to learn all these new things about what this console or what this you know what they're offering you you can actually um give it that chance because you're so interested in that one thing it, it it's exclusively providing to its to its to its fan base um so i mean you know honestly I, i've had experiences with other consoles or both consoles and it's just like you know with, with playstation for example they have they have a lot of exclusive content and and their games their solo games are just so memorable to me and they really hit super hard so but like if it, if it comes to like uh like xbox wanting to provide something uh to me that's exclusive like yeah when, once i get a chance I, I i to experience it there's other things that come with it like sony for example their their network isn't j it's just not as as great as xbox would be in, in my opinion even though xbox lacks all the exclusive content versus playstation there's a lot more I, I get to experience the the network of the Xbox and and I I really appreciate what Microsoft has done as far as uh, my experience with gaming and downloading things it's just it's a lot more seamless it's a lot okay. quicker I can get into gaming a lot a a, a lot okay. quicker and, and be ready you know like Sony I feel like you're going that, into you know? like which console do you prefer to have like yeah yeah yeah, on, yeah. Though, and know, that's just like... an example of of something that uh, uh, comes with something have, having offered something exclusive like i get to experience yeah. different things like like of a course. really no, great okay. network from for what game. we're looking for is so you you're i guess sounding like you are agree you pro you like, like pro the competitiveness I, I, i'm kind of pro about it and like like later down the road for example like it, it, if something is exclusive on the playstation then it comes to the pc like we have this horizon zero dawn or or death stranding it, it, it's one of those situations to where um it opens up a whole new world for people that didn't think they would get to experience that. So they actually immediately feel more intrigued to jump on board and try it out because this was a hot item once upon a time for said uh, a publisher of a console or whatever you want to call that manufacturer of a console. Go ahead, Jess. What you, got? you know, I kind of feel too. I know this is maybe just being a little petty, but I feel like when games are released as an exclusive and then a few months later, they release that on another console. I'm like, what the hell, <laughs> Jessica bro? gets angry. Like, are you effing kidding me? Like, what the frick? Why the yeah, hell did I, I just buy it on the PlayStation? You told me it was exclusive, and now you're like, oh, yeah. it's not exclusive. Now it's on PlayStation, or now it's on Xbox. Now it's on you PC. Now it's on, PC. Now it's on the and then you have no use for it. Now it's so. available on, like, the Nintendo DS, like, Switch Lite, whatever. Like, I'm like, what? Like, I like that. I just I like I that thought, about you, I thought I, I was, like, like paying for uh, exclusivity over here, right. bro. What the heck? Hey. And that's what it's that's what it's about. This is exactly what that's, that's about. What I'm, it's about yeah. it's about getting you to spend your dollars with us and not about the competitor. Exactly. When it comes down to it, it's basic capitalism. And I'm it's very like open this... minded. I love all the consoles, but like my heart yeah. lies somewhere, you know. Just exactly. Like... It's just it's just like a Honda offering Sirius radio where maybe Toyota is not. It's an exclusive feature to this brand, exactly. whether it might be in the same industry. You know, it's, it's a come spend your dollar. Bills. And people are upset. Xbox fans are upset. PC fans are upset. You know, PlayStation once again. But then again, we got to remember, we got to go back to how many exclusives does a PC have that the consoles haven't seen? I mean, luckily we're in a new age, but we we all come from an age when it was very segregated in terms of Xbox, PlayStation, and PC. And the sure. thought of cross playing with someone on a different console or like a different Mind service blowing. was insane. It Mind would never blowing. happen. Like, look what happened when we, we played WoW the other night. And we were server crossing over servers. <laughs> Jessica's mind I couldn't blown even, by this. I couldn't even take it. My, I didn't even know what was happening. My brain <laughs> almost exploded. Like, and that just blew yeah. my mind. 
That was like amazing, you know. It I is awesome. Imagine that, like ten years ago. Holy shit, dude! Like... I, I know, and it's it's it's. See, we're so old. I'm sorry. No, we're only we're, not, we're in our young thirties. I'm just saying we come from an age when this was just so foreign. Like, and I remember I remember being with friends when we were young and talking about. Imagine one day if you could like watch what I was playing and like in real time we could talk yeah, about man. it. Like we would lose our effing minds to see streaming. Yeah, days. we're and like I, at the perfect age where we had we started where with nothing yes. and we evolved into everything we have now. Like we started from the bottom. Like, now we here. Now that's we right, here. Jess. Tell it. <laughs> Stop it, white boy. All right, Whoa. all right. <laughs> that was great. So, okay. it, it seems up, like. <laughs> it, it's kind of a bummer because unfortunately it seems like we're all on the same page and i was looking for a little more it's kind of like, it's kinda, it's, kinda argue it's kinda like back in the day it was always just like playstation versus xbox and then once they had their squabble nintendo would come in and be like okay i'm gonna get in the port <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> nintendo's not even a gang they're like they're like the cute little kid over there to the side well, they're 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 a lot of ports sense. they got a lot yeah. of call of duties they've got skyrim ports they got they, <laughs> later in life they no, always like swept up on the remake or the remake. you know what nintendo what? is nintendo know. is my daughter picking up the controller while i'm playing a video game and thinking she's playing with me i'm like oh that's cute. so cute yeah, all right cute. Let's get back yeah. Yeah. that's what it is when they're playing with the video i don't get me wrong i love nintendo i i i, I don't have For a sure. switch but it's a necessary buy as soon as oh, my yeah, daughter. Oh yeah, bro! I've been age. playing like Animal Crossing. You know, I'd be there. I, did, I, I heard yeah. they're coming out with a new Pokemon Snap, an updated Pokemon Snap. Which, oh oh yeah, now you're talking my language. My, Game Boy, to, my yellow I Game Boy Color. I always yeah. used to see that like yellow. PC always had them all by default, whatever Xbox and PlayStation were fighting over. But it's interesting to see how that's flipped, and PlayStation and Xbox get these titles first before they get ported to PC. Well, see, that would be a very good argument to what us arguing for console exclusivity because mm -hmm. Horizon Dawn is having its port issues right now. It was poorly ported, and it's having a lot of issues for some people. Half the people are having an okay time. Other people can't even run the game without crashing. But you have games like Death Stranding, PlayStation exclusive, Hideo Kojima and PlayStation having a very close relationship. I love it. I want to see more. It's going to give us a, a Silent Hill adjacent game. Maybe not Silent Hill directly, but we might see a silent a horror game from Kojima. PlayStation exclusive. A lot it. of opportunities out there with Kojima Studios. But yeah. he brings Death Stranding to the PC, to Steam. Kojima's words. Pl uh, Death Stranding on PlayStation was a TV show. Death Stranding on Steam is a full cinematic movie. That's the difference he's making. It he feel like he was really able to open up his game graphically, uh, pro, whatever oh, processor was. He was able to open up Death Stranding to exactly what he maybe felt like it should be. I did he's not very know that. Completely opened up Death That's Stranding. Awesome. Even though Horizon Zero Dawn's having its poor issues, it's having great success on Steam. It's completely having a resurgence. Paul Tassi, It'll get uh, there too, you know. Like absolutely. I feel like you've got to expect like these little kinks when when they yeah. Do this. Like, There's I a mean, long. There is a as a PC player. There's a long history of these cons or these developers not properly porting these games yeah. to PC and having their own poorly. Sometimes they don't even get fixed, and it's fucking harsh. It's when yeah. you buy a game on Steam and you're just out of that time to get a refund, and you're like, now I'm stuck with this port terribly ported game. It's it can be a little bit of a bummer, but um, but fifty on that, yeah, um, yeah, exactly. And Thomas brings up a good point. There is an issue when you have a new game come to the Steam. That you're paying fifty bucks for Horizon Zero Dawn and it's poorly ported, and then you have it for twenty bucks uh, yeah. to get like the brand, the whole complete like, edition. Is that really worth it? Just play like your get, yeah. yeah. Go get yourself a PlayStation Pro, get a 4K TV, and it'll blow your mind. I recently finally, I finally made a jump to 4K TV. And I got a PlayStation Pro. And nice. It just looks amazing. It's total, Everything's yeah, it, beautiful. It's a huge difference. It's yeah, a huge, huge difference. difference. Yeah. yeah. Ghost of uh, I'm gonna butcher the name because I'm a I'm a weeby white boy, but Ghost of Tsushima, Tsushima, whatever oh, yeah. it is, GOT. <laughs> it looks gorgeous. Tom's also playing this game right now. He's he's having a grand time with it on a 4K TV PlayStation Pro. It looks gorgeous. I it's the art on it's amazing. They're pushing the art on it. It's it's amazing. And uh, thank you, Thomas. Ghost of if you scroll up a little bit, uh, Ghost of Tsushima is right now the highest rated game of the generation. Uh, according to Forbes, of the magazine. generation of the generation, it is so well received by not only the critics but gamers who are notoriously hard to kind of please. We tend yeah, to be yeah. a whiny, bitchy bunch, but <laughs> nine point three user score, eighty three for meta score. It's it's just dominating the market. It beat it. It just totally beat Last of Us Two, which just broke record. 
it blew God of War out of the way. I love God of War. I think yeah. the remake God of War is one of the best games. In the oh, last phenomenal. Oh, it was so fucking good. Dan disagrees. I know he has his. I cried in like the first oh. like five minutes. Of uh, it. The bond with his son. This is before yeah. I even had Sophia. Before I even oh. had my daughter. The bond with his son was just. Oh, I can't. I'm pining for the sequel. I cannot wait. So good. To finish. Yeah. The mother. The whole story with the mother and her getting killed and stuff and kind of like it. Like the connection. I it's loved beautiful. it. Yeah, anyway, I loved it. Tom, are you able to hop on the mic here, buddy? How you sounding? How you feeling? So I am. While you- I'm having mic problems because I, I disconnected okay. my USB because uh, I'm not used to this this platform. So I did unplug my mic, okay. and now it defaults to my laptop mic. Sadly. <laughs> um, okay, you sound fine. You, uh, right now you sound fine. Um, the reason I'm asking is we're about to get into a, our next bit here, and I want to make sure Tom could talk because he's kind of um, he's running it for us. So um, Tom, we hear you perfect. You sound good, bud. Go ahead and use whatever. Um, format using now will uh, whether it be your laptop mic or your actual condenser mic. Um, but uh, we got a game here, guys. We uh, if you heard the first episode, we had a couple bits we tried. It was calls with Dan, which was pretty well received. Maybe we'll bring that back. I feel like Dan did a pretty darn good job. We also had um, bless this Jess with Divine DNB, which I guarantee will be making a comeback because <laughs> um, uh, Dan did a great job. He tried his best, even though. Uh, Jessica and B, they seem to be on the same side, but no, I couldn't no. convince her. I couldn't convince uh, you her. You tried your best. Stay off cigarettes. But, She's smoking yeah. carton. She's sparking a carton a day, dude. Just about Thank it, you. Man. It's about Thank it. you for the recap. <laughs> it, exactly. I, I didn't like it. <laughs> Dan, Dan, uh, Dan and the B tried to convince Jessica to quit smoking. And um, re- in real life, she she never went back to smoking, but we'll just say she agreed with B. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She definitely agreed yeah. with B. Yeah. And yeah. the old father didn't help me at all. Yeah. Next time, maybe we'll have All Father help Dan. I think All Father's going to step in and give Dan a little help. It wasn't <laughs> fair having, um, you know, B just go straight into it. Because eh, B and just. Anyways, we got a new got game today. Um, <laughs> we're going to be trying this out. Um, it's called Guess That Game. Thomas um, devotedly picked a few games out, wrote a brief description on them, and he's going to give that to us while um, the three of us, uh, being Jess, Dan, and myself, try to guess the game who can do it the quickest. And um, we're going yeah, in blind. That's pretty much we're going it's in pretty... super blind. We have no idea what Thomas picked <laughs> yeah. for the we're game. This for the first time. I'm <laughs> nervous because, like, you know, like I, I have a very linear path in the games I choose to <laughs> play. So it's like I don't have a very diverse yeah. scope of games. I tried to. So what Dan is saying? Thank you for being our guinea pigs, guys, because we're trying this in real time for the first time. It's a game we've never played before, and um, we'll see how it goes. All right. So let us know in the comments uh, if Thank you like you. it or not. You know, let us know what words. If you hate it, just say you just flat out just hated it, dude. Like, Thank you. Yeah, we're cool with that. We're cool with that, yeah, man. If it was good, that. though, like, I'm I'm cool with it being Can you good. imagine if I was, like, a masochist? I'm playing, I just, I just pick random games that are just... I wonder if any of the audience will actually, like, listening to this will guess the game before we can even come up with it. Like, that's what I'm curious about. I have about. tested a few like, of you. Oh, maybe sure. before. So please before let game, us game. know, dude. Yeah, before, yeah. at least before. So mom, know. dad, but just like, Shane, text but maybe let me Shane. know if you win. If you win. <laughs> <laughs> hey, and you know what? While we're on that note, go ahead and let your friends know about the podcast and channel. Uh, we're at New Player Podcast on Facebook. And we also have a YouTube channel, New Player Podcast. We're also at New Player Pod cart at gmail.com if you want to email us but I feel free to look us up on youtube uh youtube funny. facebook and um twitter to come or um tba jets, that might be tba, so TBA twitter. twitter tba yeah. yeah but that being said let's get into guess that game guys and now time for another round of guess that game We'll have video in the next, uh, in the next podcast. Yeah, I would like or, to, um, you know, girls um, we were all my surfboards. <laughs> I, I'm recording. We're good. Oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah, maybe um, <laughs> everybody saw that. You guys saw can that. see our study face. Okay. Everybody saw it. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Um, so, Tom, I'm going to go ahead and give it to you, bud. This is on you now. Oh, and um, just to specify, to ring in our answers, we'll be saying our name. So, Shane, Jess, and Dan. That's how we bring our answers. We'll be able to chime in as soon as we think we know it is, but I feel like Tom might have a twist and turn on us, so who knows? All right, go ahead and take it away, Tom. You better have developed twist and turns, Tom, I, mean, I swear. This is my first time, so it could be real bad. We'll see. Well, this, is a, te- this is a test run. <laughs> I'm a virgin. I like how he's like, this is a it. test run. He's just like, I am not at fault for any of this. I mean, I'm, just, I'm still feeling the water and seeing what, what will trip, trip you up and what won't. So, hey. Take it away, buddy. <laughs> All right. 
So uh, to kick this off, uh, I'm going to present you with an iconic story we should all be very familiar with. Our hero, as unlikely as he may be, must save a princess who is being held hostage in a pretty gnarly castle. The problem is that he won't find her in the first estate he journeys to. Of course, the ferocious beast that kidnapped our princess has amassed an army of miscreants to descend upon our hero as he gathers powerful equipment, and of course, as is typical, he gets good. And he does eventually triumph over them. Shane. Go. Zelda Link to the Pass. Holy shit. You're wrong. Oh, <laughs> that was like it was a load off. I was just like, holy shit, he got it right on first try. <laughs> now, I mean, I'm definitely thinking Mario, but I don't know which title, though. Okay. I wanted to hear more. Right, if you want to ring in, Dan, you can either shut your mouth or ring in. How about that? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Sounds like yeah, someone's little. I want you to keep going. I don't want to guess. So if Dan wants to guess, you can guess, but. I'm not ready to guess. Keep going. Okay. So next up is a soundtrack. A key part of this game is that the music actually is important through the entire narrative. And a single melody will bestow our hero with the power to alter the fabric of time itself. Dan? Ah! Dan? <laughs> yeah. Is it Braid? No. Okay. I thought that too, but Braid's not music. There's music in it, though, I think. So well, there's music in every game, right? I'm like, so I sorry, dude. Game. <laughs> I didn't play Braid, but I knew there was some shit that went down. Like, so Jessica right. guessed. So, Dan. No, that was what, you're, Dan. Are you done no, with the script? I, I guess. Yeah. I guess. That was, I that was a script. Oh. You can go in if, if no one gets it. But yeah. That was it. Je- Jess still has it. Can- can so you redo this? Oh, can you redo? Okay. Can you redo the synopsis? Oh, okay, okay. It's up to Jess. You already guessed. No, no, no. Right? I, I remember. Oh, I'm not going to guess. I'm out of guesses. Okay. I just wanted to hear the synopsis again. But once Jess guesses, Dan, you and I are eligible again. Yes. Okay. We don't. We don't get hands. You, There's I mean, no like. Uh, I feel like I, you're lucky. I have the Jeopardy theme lined I, up right I, now. I'm pretty <laughs> sure that after this first round, if you don't get it right, then I'll start giving more hints because it's only like okay. you know, what everybody else has. Yeah, totally. Oh man, um, music that has to do with music. That's what's throwing me off. It's not. It has to be a Zelda. I feel like it has to be a Zelda. But it could be a different title, though. That's the thing. Shane Shane did Link to the Past. Valley so it could of the be Wind? a different. It's got to be a different different Zelda title. Tom, she guessed. Know, music. That was my guess. Yeah, I don't know. Is, is that a guess? That's- what was your guess? So, so wrong? I mean, what, what, is, what is the guess? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't Jess, know. What you, did you say? Valley of the Wind? Yeah. No. Valley of the Wind. Is that a real Zelda title? Shane. Yeah. yeah. Shane Zelda Zelda's Majora's Zelda. Mask. No. God damn. It's not Majora's Mask. Is it not Mask. a Zelda game? <laughs> Dan, Ocarina of Time. <laughs> Yeah. Is there music for like, the winner? Where's the where's the background? The like, like where's the confetti falling from the fucking ceiling? Tom, please? you did a good job because you recorded time. You started talking about the music, and I was like, we talked about time, and I was like, it's been yeah. such a long time. The Ocarina of, of Time. Yeah, that's why I, was, I know, time. but Majora's Mask is a time based. That's why I thought what? too hard. I got in my head. I got two in my own head. Okay, so Dan's so up would one. Be, this would be a good time for um, game confessions because I have never played it. Okay, hold on. Any of the Zeldas? <laughs> hold on. I thought... <laughs> <laughs> you knew it was a Zelda game, though, so I mean... Yeah, well, because yeah, I'm, exactly. I'm she's educated <laughs> yeah, in the she's gaming smart world. Person. I'm not a freaking Which is idiot. why you have to play the game. You have to. To play the game. <laughs> the game. <laughs> One day we'll release our Rot Tomatoes games, a game a bit we stole directly from the Adam Carolla show. But um, maybe we'll record them and release one to our audience if they ever want to hear it. Again, let us Adam know Carolla, if you're listening, bring Carolla, it. I know you're a big video game fan <laughs> and listen to this podcast right now. But you Thanks, and the Adam. audience, let us know if you want to hear one of our Rot Tomato games and we'll record it for you guys. Okay, Dan's up one, Jess and I zero zero. Tom, next game. I hate all of you. All right. <laughs> So this one's a little bit different in the, in the way that I'm going to be telling this, describing it. Um, you were only emancipated from your prison cell minutes ago, and you've already... Chain. Yeah. It sells. No. 
Jack. Oh, why am I so bad at this game? I feel like they should call this game <laughs> Don't Blow Your Load. Because, like... <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. So, is it, do you want me to keep going, guys? Right. No, yeah, I, 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 I kind, I kind of want to ring in. No, I said Jessica did ring in. Jessica did ring in. She did. Doom. No. Dan, 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 you were only emancipated from your prison cell minutes ago, and you've already found yourself towering over your next victim. Their face, even b- before being mutilated by the carnage, was so grotesque that it seems impossible to have been created within 12 parsecs of art. For a second, you reminisce of a specific film that was certified fresh on Rotten Tomatoes. This film, an adaptation of a famous science fiction novel, told a story where an extraterrestrial species had been secretly living underneath the Earth's surface for centuries, biding their time to attack. As a memory leaves your mind, you realize where you are. You immediately curb stomp your opponent and rev your chainsaw for all to hear. Shame. Oh, damn. Yeah. Yeah, I heard it. Gears of War. Shame. Uh, Shame went first. Okay. Woo! Good. Oh, God, it makes so much sense when they came from... I was thinking Resistance. I was I, like, oh no, Tom would have got that. I was thinking that, and I was trying to like throw a bunch of weird stuff. Everywhere. I'm so pissed off right now because I'm <laughs> yeah, a huge really Gears weird. fan, and like Shane called that before I did. It got me so <laughs> upset. Yeah, and just that's why we're <laughs> such <laughs> Gears fans. World, like War of the Worlds, like the movie, because that's like the same thing. And I remember playing Gears. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. I was like, War of Worlds was never a video game. <laughs> For a lot of things, that's why I was like trying yeah. to wait and let it go. I, but like, yeah. Damn, Gears is mine. That was me. I thought we were gonna have it because you just brought up yeah. Gears and how like you loved. It. I'm like, oh, this is this is Jess's. Yeah, <laughs> I like the I like the dude, old school like Gears, dude. Like the new stuff is just like. I got. Oh, it. You're like, doing great. Great job. Okay. Next 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 game. Good job. I'm I'm digging it. You're doing a good job. All right. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm pumped. I got it right. So I'm in a good mood. You guys can tell. <laughs> I don't right. like anything about your mood right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um. All right. This next one. So. Who's ready to deliver some of the most important cargo from one edge of America to the other? Jan. I, Who I, got that I, one? I feel like I heard this sh- before that? Dan. So, it's a, uh, you call it Tom. Tom's not biased. Uh, I, I I will leave it to Tom. I did hear this sh- before Dan. So <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I'm, I heard myself before Dan. Too, but I honestly I feel like I did. Like that. Go ahead. I heard sh- Dan. <laughs> so so like sh- Dan. Sh- yeah, that's stranding. Obviously, no, it's not. Shut up! No. 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 <laughs> I'm not Shut trying up. to fuck with anybody, but hey. <laughs> hey. Uh, I'm a geek that you met, you. I'm a geek that you met. <laughs> so, Dan, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, go ahead. Uh, oh, no, well, you gave it okay, to me, so okay, okay. It, it, it can, yeah. In this yeah. game, you can easily die from the most base of X. basic acts. I'm surprised you, like, did it that early. Um... The weather, don't even get me started, is dangerous too. Throughout your journey, you'll find equally as many as many things to sustain your voyage as you will find threats that will make you rethink your life choices. Jess. Yes. No Man's Sky? No. Ooh, good <sighs> guess, Jess. Good guess. Deal. You'll honestly be lucky damn. if half your cargo isn't dead by the end of your journey. Oh, damn. So, Dan. Yeah, dude, I'm out. I'm out. If it's not Dead Stranding, then I'm out. I'm out. Jess. Jess. Okay. Jess. Okay. Go ahead, Jess. Jess. Can I go again? Yeah. yeah. Oregon Trail? Oh, oh you piece <laughs> of <laughs> Oh, God. I love oh, that game, I first of all. You. That's a great oh, game. It's <laughs> Andy's first real when game. You said, Let's when you said it was live cargo, I was like, oh, right there. I was like, Oregon Trail. Oregon Trail. That's, that's what I tried to do. I remember playing that. At I'm Cornita, impressed by both of you. At Cornita in like the little computer yeah. room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's I where I played it in the computer lab at Cornita. <laughs> this is so exciting. I so and I grew up half a mile from each other. So I'll just I'll tell you. <laughs> like our whole life. Yeah, like exactly. literally our entire lives. So Walking crazy. distance. Yeah. All right. Everybody has long. one <sighs> point then, right? Is yes. That I'm impressed by Tom and Jessica on that one. That was both <laughs> very well executed by both. Your organ channel. I don't fucking like good. it at all, man. I, I, I that feel was that I did kind of go out trying. Like, that was that was supposed to be. I was trying to make it. You went out on a. You went out on a freaking. <laughs> that was good. 
That was limb on that one. If I would have just waited, a, if I would have just waited until you said livestock, like the first time, I would have instantly got it. Yeah. I knew I would have. <laughs> oh, that hurt. That one hurt. Okay. Next, next. Very, very tricky. Very tricky. Considering <laughs> we've been playing Death Stranding I'm recently, like, all I'm three sorry. of us. I feel like, like, what I'm trying to do is, you know, you want to guess early, obviously, because it gets easier as it goes on. So you have to like try to get it before yeah. everybody else does. Totally. Yeah. So yeah. that's like all right. All right, quiet down. Get I'm on. gonna go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, like, <laughs> I'm gonna tone it down a little bit and then bring back something that might be a little bit easier. Um, so in this world, you're your own worst enemy, or at least you're, that's what you're told over and over again. You're bred for a specific purpose, but forgotten about a long time ago. The only friend along the way who you loved with every fiber of your being is eventually destroyed in an incinerator. You have no way to attack anything that comes your way. Yet somehow you get around everything that crosses you. You seek revenge for only one thing. Kate, you fatty. Chain. Yeah. Portal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> yeah I guess I, I, I was like just too late. Uh, right after you yes, said your name. <laughs> okay. All right. I thought you were gonna get it before that, but um, I guess obviously Kate, you fatty was incinerator. <laughs> it was on the tip of my Kate. tongue. I was like incinerator, incinerator. I was like, okay, good, good pull. Yep, All I right. forgot about. Good job, Shane. Uh, <laughs> good job, Shane. <laughs> one, one, two. Good job, Shane. <laughs> good job. All right, so. Thank you, dude. Ooh. Where am I? Where should I do next? Oh, let's do this. So, what's wrong with real life? It moves too slowly. Your parties aren't ragers anymore. Your pool's a cookie cutter. Hell, your house is a cookie cutter. Boom! I have your solution. In our chain, yeah. Sims. Yep. <laughs> I was literally yeah. going to do Sims, but I didn't want to like pull the plug too early on that one. Yeah. Oh. And I was going to love I was gonna it. Bring up like Drew Carey and everything. <laughs> you and your red herrings. Tom has these red herrings. He'll set your mind on a different fucking planet. That's why you got to guess early because he'll he'll set you thinking something else. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But uh, all right, we're um, one, one, one and three. Oh. Dan one, Jess one. I'm at three right now. So yeah. <clears throat> all right, all right. Um, wow. All right, here, here, here we go. Although it's not exactly at the forefront of the narrative, this game actually takes place in an aftermath of a brutal world war. A brutal war that produced countless casualties. You would never guess this because a society has given time to rebuild itself to its previous state in the following years. In an almost Spielberg-esque fashion. Chain. Yes. Mass Effect. No. Oh, man. In an almost Spielberg-esque fashion, you play a preteen who single-handedly takes down a mafia boss, uncovers a sinister plot cl involving cloning the mother of all beings, and eventually ends up living as a recluse within the pitch black caves of a mountain. Can it get even crazier? Throughout your adventure, you're constantly attacked by supernatural monsters who bend the elements to their bidding. Some of them become minions under your control while others are obliterated by your power. But what's your real goal? To be the best, like no one ever was. <laughs> Pokemon, what? Um, hmm. yeah. Yeah. You forget the rules of the game, ring in if you have an answer. <laughs> No, but like, like, like that's oh, just a th that's that's not a, that's, just a th that's not an answer. That's a thought. Like, okay, I, I, I well, know that's keep the answer. thoughts in your head there, thumb boy. That's, that's what we, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I have no yeah. clue. <laughs> okay, so there's there's gonna be like a ten second time limit before yeah, I'm to chime back in, right? Yeah, I don't know. This is like, all right. So are you guys forfeiting your turns or can yeah. maybe we could do a little do a little recap just do like a Yeah, do the re do the re recap again. Yeah. Uh some of them become minions under your control. Some of these monsters with supernatural abilities to bend the elements to their will become your minions <laughs> while other ones are our, 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 by your power. All our, right, yes. Dan. Dan. Yeah. Uh, po Pokemon. Yeah, that was it. Yeah. God, for the <laughs> love of God, that took way too long. <laughs> I love how you guessed it. Uh, just, nah, I didn't guess. I mean, his last line. Well, I was singing the Pokemon song, but I didn't think that would actually be that, it. What, like the last sentence is always going to tell you what it is. Like that was <laughs> yes. Yeah. So, and if yeah, okay, yeah, I like it. Good, good. All right. Y'all could help. Right. <laughs> right. Next game. Wow. Right. Although this game was never originally meant to be a part of the franchise it's branded under, many of the characters it introduced became staples in its universe that still, to this day, return in every iteration. When the company wanted to re the original game in America as a mainstream title, it was thought to be too difficult for the average American. 
the solution was to make another much easier game and replace the main character's sprites with the, t the titular character. Uh, I guess that one doesn't tell you anything at the end, but it's a big game. <laughs> it Shame. does not at all. Yes. Mega Man? No. I'd say a close era. Um, I can't give too much else until the next next round. Everyone guesses. So I thought this one was going to be the easiest out of all of them, too. Yeah, Mega Man was like one of my only guesses that came to mind. All right, you guys get 10 seconds until you, uh, let's say 15 seconds until you forfeit your... Uh, Recap that whole thing. I guess. Go ahead and read it again. <laughs> so the game wasn't originally released in, it was released in America as this title, but in, in Japan it was released as a different name. Um, because they thought that this, that this game that was supposed to have this title was too hard for Americans. Dan, Resident Evil. No. No, because I remember they went Biohazard in Japan, and they went Resident Evil in America. Any guesses, Jess? I do remember that. I think she said Mega Man. Oh, never mind. No, no, because you did. I we already did the Mega Man thing. Mm. It didn't work. Anything, Jess? Pac Man. No. Pac -Man. <laughs> right, okay. right, I knew it. Next, I knew next it. round of hints is. Uh... There involves this, right. this pink bird with a hole in its nose, dinosaur thing, and then there's bombs everywhere. Uh, there's, I think, the first time that you see some like a little red dude with a white mask over his face in this game as well. Pick up turnips and throw them at people. Um, Dan. Yes. Is it? Is it? Uh, is, oh, fucking a! It's a. It's a Mario Brothers game. Fucking a! But I don't know which one it was. Ah, uh, pass. Shane, Super Mario Brothers All Stars. No. That is the first time you get to play this game as an American, or the original one that should have been called this game in America. Super Mario Brothers Two. Damn. Yeah, you gotta yell your name out first, man. Come on. For the love of God. Oh. Uh, Tom. Yeah. I realized these took a long time to write, but <laughs> that one was probably the worst. That one was like that was like hard. I was saving it for like towards the end. Um, yeah, all right. A... Um I don't want to get too much data. Do you have any more we can go through? Um Yeah, okay. If we um we will let's, say let's the answers. That... If you guys know the answers, leave it in the comments so we can like <laughs> check it out. <laughs> I'm sorry well, we're I... retarded, guys. We don't know uh, the answers to So these Tom, questions. one more Tom's time. One more time around next the block. Level. One more, Shit here, one more time. Description one more time. Bombs everywhere. Turn ups. One more time. Description yeah. one more time. Red guy in a white mask. Red it's Mario. Mario. It's Mario. Super Mario 4? Not 4. Like I'll just I was like I'll give you that. Uh, give you okay. That. I know it's in so is it it's not in the Super Mario All Star genre. It is because there's that Super Mario All Star is a collection of three games. It's in it. If it's in that, I'm gonna take the point. Uh that's not fair. Okay. But it was in it, yeah. <laughs> Maybe it, it was in it. <laughs> See, you went you want a deep cut Mario game. This is this is not well, on this us. One this one is, is on like you. infamous, man. It's infamous. Um all right, that's fine. You win. Like the PlayStation <laughs> Tom's all now. You know, it's it's like being a furniture mover. You could move someone's house isn't perfect, and you don't get one word of a compliment. But as soon as you get a nick on that coffee table, <laughs> yeah. you're the worst mover ever. <laughs> this is what Tom did. Tom did an amazing job setting up the description. Spent a bunch of hours on it. With the one <laughs> he had, I'm gonna I'm gonna ring him over the coals. I made you now. believe the organ trail was Death Stranding, right? <laughs> yeah, see, I know. he did a great job of that. that he did a great that job impressive. of that. That was very impressive. <laughs> I, I, try, I wanted my early lead. See, <laughs> I, I know that All-Stars consists of those like three or four games. I just don't know exactly what the title is. Um, there's, oh, it's, uh, so, I, uh, in that game, there, there ah. is. And the reason why they put them all into a collection is because they're so obscure, Tom. That should have been your first hint right there. They're, they're <laughs> games that no other people know about, so they put them all under one card. Oh, no, man. They put them all under one it's thing. Like the, the, that, that should have been your hint right there, my, in my defense. I mean, yeah. I don't think that's exactly true. I think only one of those games. Okay, we're running out of time. Can I get? We're, can we're I get? Way, can, we're way over. Sure. Can I get? Can I get a? What is the game for the record? Super Mario Brothers. Yeah, two. go ahead and two. Okay, yeah, thanks. It was Super, Super Mario Brothers, Brothers two, two, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. Technically, I guessed it. Wait, wait, what did you yeah, say? Well, though? You didn't say your name. Thomas is the worst. I hate him. I deserve it. Okay, that, that's a little bit deeper cut. I that is that is one of the more. Deeper cuts in Mario. Okay, we're probably going to cut this whole segment out of the podcast. Next game, as far as it is. 
So for a while, the gaming industry was pushing more realistic graphics as a key factor to judge everything else by. Eventually, indie games, with their simple approach, took the world by storm and were just as beautiful, if not quite as realistic, as their AAA counterparts. This game took it even further, delivering such an old-school 2D aesthetic that it couldn't have been possible until technology was ready for it. Originally created as a game comprised completely of lo- of boss fights, this masochistic... Chain. Yeah. Shit. You said arcade <laughs> game? Uh, no. Ugh, Shadow of Colossus. No. So originally created as a game compli- comprised completely of boss fights, this masochistic game evokes the imagery of 1930s Disney cartoons while beating the shit out of your confidence with finger guns and mischievous adult themes. Oh, Jess? Yeah. Oh, no. Oh. Kingdom Hearts? No. Dan, you got 15 seconds. You said 2D, right? Yeah. We're running out of time here. Oh, Dan Cuphead? Yep. Oh, I, yeah, was gonna say, I was going to say that next. Uh, I never played yeah, it. I didn't know it was only boss fight. <laughs> uh. Originally it was, but not. eventually it wasn't. Okay. Oh, I had no idea. Hey, Interesting. On. Okay. Do Disney Next game. I think that was it. You got four, right? No, Dan's three, Jess is one, Shane's oh, three. Yeah. Ooh. Dan didn't get that, Mars. Yeah, so I know we only had ten, so we're getting low here. So hopefully either Dan or I guess it. You know what? Jess, you're eliminated. Oh. <laughs> 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 That's Econ. Tom, next game. If we if it comes to it, we'll we'll have you dig another game out while we what do you, you guys will, we'll have three. So we have three, three, and then one. Jess has one. One. Just how many how many games did you have lined up? Well, I can so we went through seven. Well, we went through eight these. because no one got Mario Brothers two. That's right. Yeah, uh, so we've gone through eight games. That that we should have two more left, right, Tom? Yes. So I can get the okay. last two, and we can all tie. And then Ooh. everyone will lose. It'll be very interesting. You pod. better be on your a game. Great game dude. That means I win. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead, Tom. I stopped you on one that ruined the game. Um, <laughs> Go ahead. Tom. After our main character, an infantryman, is pitted against one of the most powerful beings ever to exist in a very fateful encounter, he... Re- he Chain. Re- yes. Halo. No. Halo. He realizes that everything he previously fought for was blatantly wrong. After watching his mother die at the hands of his powerful en- of this powerful entity, he joins an eco-terrorist group to stop a sinister company that are sucking the very life... Dan. Of- yes. Final Fantasy VII. Yes. For the win, you piece of shit! I hate you, Dan. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> I hate Retired you. champion. Retired champion. Dude. Uh, I, I, yeah, the same thing that Lena complains about. I'm always just off too early. You know, that's just here. Yeah, I, I am. Just say, honestly, Woo! I just like expected to lose. All right. So, like... Well, here's the same <laughs> intro song again for that. Oh wait. <laughs> and now, time for another. All right, whatever. I hate you, Tom. I hate you, Dan. Everyone's the worst. Never play that game again. <laughs> no, Tom. Great job. Thank you for that, man. I appreciate it. you. Did a great job with this. this Kept us on our toes. Uh, death trail. Dan, I hate you even more somehow. So <laughs> we'll happy to be a service, man. No, good yeah, job. Good job, Dan. I love it. Maybe we'll bring that back. That was actually pretty fun. We'll yeah, that, that was. You all did really good, actually. I was surprised sometimes, like. Tom, you're echoing there, buddy. It's in both directions, but hey. Appreciate it, bud. Go ahead and mute yourself. All right. (laughs) That was Guess That Game. Again, guys, let us know what you thought of it. Um, How does it stack up the calls with Dan? Uh, Bless this chess. And um, maybe we have a couple other games on the horizon. I don't know. Who knows? Let us know. That's right. All right. Um, We got 10 minutes left before uh, we got to wrap this up. So let's... um, Let's talk about what's in the news. Uh, the game news has been going around. Halo Infinite delayed to 2021. This is a big deal. Why is this a big deal? What else does Xbox have besides Halo at launch right now? Rumors um, leaked out to the mill that their uh, the release date for the Xbox Series X is November 6th. Mm-hmm. With Halo being um, delayed to 2021, what else does uh, Xbox have at this point? What do you guys think? I haven't really heard much. Like, is, is there anything that like they even put out outside of the Halo situation that they're writing on right now? That's I mean, like, fine. The could you name thing... a couple PlayStation games I, that I, are coming out? Could I, I can I name some PlayStation games? Uh, yeah. Well, I'm just saying. I feel like Xbox might be leaning a little bit too much on Halo Infinite as a um, 
as a title to can, like Jessica was saying before, to convince you to buy this console. Right now, yeah. it doesn't seem to be stacking up too much. There's not really anything that Xbox is really offering right now that kind of makes it stands apart from its competitor. But right. the one thing I can say about Xbox is that that Game Pass thing they got going on right it's now, Game Pass is like they are offering one, one effing like, deal of a package with that shit, dude. There's so yeah. many games that come into play with that. And like, Weren't weren't they weren't they uh, uh, unleashing something on the on the game? It was Destiny Two. They were making it. They were putting, beyond light. They were bringing it to the Game Pass, which is expansion. Insane. Everything coming crazy. free. Oh, like, well, not free. That's five bucks crazy. a month, whatever it may be. Coming to the game like pass. like that's yeah. that's really what they're leaning in as far as their game side of things is that Game Pass. They're really trying to push that membership being a thing that makes people convert or try out their 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 product and and honestly yeah. I, I i honestly think they got a lot of bang for their buck in that game pass i really do there's so many games you could play off of that yeah because like, i feel like know. a lot of people buy xbox for more of like a entertainment console like families and stuff like that right. you know so right. i feel like having game pass like that easily gets people in i feel like that easily gets people sucked into being able to try something that they never would have done before you know and I could be a little biased because I, I do prefer the PS5. I'm sorry, the PlayStation online environment in general. Like obviously the UI on Xbox is way better, but I like the multiplayer and the players on PlayStation. For a bit. sure. Obviously prefer Steam right now, but as someone who's played Destiny for hundreds of hours on PlayStation, on Xbox, on and now consoles, on Steam, yeah. I think I'm up to 700 hours on Steam, which is embarrassing. We'll call it some AFK when it's on. <laughs> but um, I hated the xbox environment for destiny i could not get anything done that i wanted to trying to find people just even doing like heroic public events was a chore playstation seemed to go smoother steam seems to obviously be a little bit superior um uh console which is kind of proved by the numbers i think steam last time we checked was like seven hundred thousand concurrent users for destiny where it came out to 1.2 million total so spread that amongst um playstation and xbox yeah, but, I feel like um, the only time I ever wanted to play Destiny 2 is if we were all playing together on Xbox. But if I was playing by myself, I was just grinding, you know? Like, yeah. I didn't want to sit and try to find a group. And and that's the thing about those looter shooters. Same with, like, Borderlands. Like, it's just, like, you really have to be dedicated to that grind. Yeah. And speaking of that, Destiny Soul of Heroes came out 2020. Talking about grind, for the love of God. Jess, you're the only... Um, you've, you've, you've dabbled into Destiny, so you know what we're talking I about. I have, yes. But... Solstice of Heroes come, came out. Huge event. Comes out every year. Um, big event because it involves a lot of cosmetics. You get neat looking armor. It glows. But you have to do a certain amount of objectives to upgrade each set of armor and they get progressively harder. Down to the point where you got to kill 100 guardians with solar weapons. 150 guardians with your with your super, arc super. Yeah. like Just crazy grinding things. And there's a little bit of a pushback from the community. Dan and Tom have dug into it a little bit. I just got my majestic set, but um, I don't know. You guys think you're gonna be able to grind this out? Tom did it last year. I know Dan did some work on it last year as well. Looking kind of well, brutal. I mean, I personally think that it 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 gives me something to do. Like, and it's very reminiscent of the first solstice. Like, I like I like collecting all the like different you know uh, armor challenges and yeah. getting them all done. Like, I mean, I, I have no problem with it. It, it keeps me yeah. occupied. You know, like I, I'm 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 all for it because like. Like the thing about Destiny is that like the challenges they that they set up, it just does nothing but enable you to become better at the game and get more into like you know uh, feeling yourself, so to speak, when you get these upgrades to your armor and your weapons and all that kind of fun stuff. And it could be argued that anything of value on Destiny involves some type of brutal grind. So basically, if you don't like the grind. I feel like that's part of the territory in those games, <laughs> yeah, you know? I mean, exactly. that's like playing a game like WoW and not expecting to grind, you know? Like, Good point. That's just, that's just part of the games. Borderlands, you're going to have some grinding, you like quests or side quests, you know? Like, I feel like that's just a given in those kind of games. Absolutely. Going like, into any MMO looter shooter, you got to expect definitely. to grind. What's up? But like, but like back to the topic of like, you know, how like only Xbox really had that, that Halo Infinite that was delayed till 2021. The, the, the one thing that's kind of like the icing on the cake, as far as like, you know, I would say Xbox kind of like digging their own grave, so to speak, is that it wasn't really well received by its fan base. A lot of them looked at that, the trailers for that material and they were just like, it doesn't yeah. look like anything special. 
which is it's, it's kind of like like everybody all the everybody in the gaming community community that was gun ho Microsoft saying like they're running they're running out of steam at this point if they're leaning on Halo again and it's it's not like really it's appealing to the to the player base too. you know what I mean yeah and I like I feel like for me personally for as long <laughs> as I've been gaming I've always <sighs> preferred. I like if I had to get a console for exclusives, it's always PlayStation. That's always been my that's always Absolutely. been my decision. Which, which if thing? I had to only have one console, I would have to go with PlayStation because they're I feel like their exclusives are just so much better. Always. So it just, more it, options, better yeah. variety of like the types of games, you know, just all around. I feel like just all around better better options. It just it just leads me to my point that Microsoft they they need they they need to do they need to pull something out of their ass or else they're gonna they're gonna dissolve and they won't be able to keep up with it with the comp- <laughs> competitive gaming world in my opinion. Well, they're, yeah. they're, Microsoft's kind of came out and they're like, we're not even worried about the whole like I don't know if this was them kind of flexing or fronting like Ken Tom. or not Ken Levine. Um, Phil Spencer basically came out and said we're not that worried about PlayStation or um or Nintendo this year. Why they believe all the future is going to be wrapped up in streaming. They're thinking that um, with Stadia and uh, T- Tom and I were just talking about the GeForce. I'm sorry, the Nvidia streaming service. Mm-hmm. They're not even they don't th- they don't consider PlayStation a competitor because they think down the line they're going to put their full uh, load behind the Microsoft Cloud or whatever it is. Is it Azure? I don't know what it is. Tom, see, Tom's agreeing. Yeah, so they're going to put their full load behind streaming. Tom, of course, Tom's agree. Tom's been trying to get us all to play Destiny on Stadia for the last year and a half, and none of us are dumb enough to fall for it. <laughs> but I think that's that. It can be kind of short-sighted. I'm assuming these guys know a lot more than us common folk, but um, I don't know. And with Elon Musk uh, launching the Starlink satellites, they're supposed to give internet to the entire world. Maybe they're onto something. Maybe they can clinch this next generation by this this access to a, a trove of games. Yeah. Well, I know. I am a digital fan. I buy all my games digitally. Not a fan of the streaming so far. I'm obviously, we're the we're the generation that grew up in the trial period. Yeah, so I'm going to be one of those that. people where it's going to take some convincing. You know? Then again, like, I yeah, I'm with you. But the same thing was said about Netflix. Streaming movies was unheard of before they released it to every known device you have in your house. Like yeah. it was. Unheard what of. was that game system that tried to stream them all from? What was that? Do you remember that like forever ago? It's like that box you could stream games oh, from. Oh, I don't remember what it's they called. They announced it at an the, the, like, oh, it was like, oh, it's a gaming. I remember you. Like, you're not I, talking about Stadia, are you? No, no, uh, <laughs> no, no I no, think no, no, no. the Steam Box. I'm not sure if you're thinking about the Steam oh, Box, which it was, was like, um, a, it was like it was kind of okay. like it was kind of like Stadia in some sense, or like it was a service that you would be able to stream games over the internet, but it was yes. it was a while ago. Yes, hmm. it was years ago. It was years ago, we had a, uh, and it we never, had it never could did Google. good. And like, never, I, I can't, I can't even remember. I mean, at the time, internet sucked, so I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I know. yeah, I feel like it's, it was way ahead of its time. Yeah. You know, like what, like our technology just wasn't up to like, it wasn't good enough to run it. You know, totally. Unfortunately, we have no access to Google or someone to Google stuff for us right now. So the world may never know. Oh. Unfortunately, right. um, we'll, uh, <laughs> we'll call it that. I was getting caught up. Right. Um. <laughs> but I guess I guess my question is is, is ultimately is Microsoft going to be able to keep up All going right. into the next generation of gaming? Are they really going to be able to keep up? All right, Dan, one second. On live, that, that was that Thank was you. Exactly. on live. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. That yes. was on live. I remember this. I remember yep. this was a big deal. I remember them announcing Ooh. this at E3 and you have its own out controller about it. It was it, a huge. Yeah, dude, it was legit. Notice that controller, Xbox design Xbox? controller, but the joysticks right. are stationed like the PlayStation. The st- they're uh, aligned instead of being offset. That's they don't very have like, that. Usually, like the thing. only switch up too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Even PlayStation, like the shape of like the Xbox. What about these? What about the PlayStation. 5. What about these media buttons? That's so smart. That's just that's good when you can control your um your Kazaa. Or your uh, lime wire on the side, man. If you're playing stuff from there. You're Kazan. Holy shit, man. I don't think I've heard that in like 15 years, man. <laughs> Ooh. Um, sold. Okay, so Tom is showing us right now that on live, as of April 3rd, 2015, on live announced it had sold most of its assets to who? Sony Interactive Entertainment would be oh. shutting down all services. So I believe on live became PlayStation Now, which is a horrible service that does not work as well. That was that was five wow. years ago. That was five years <laughs> ago. It is the worst. So long ago, worst of all the yeah. streaming services, like by far. I, 
I tried wow. playing Peace Walker, Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker on now, which is a PSP game that was ported yeah. to PlayStation. Ran terribly. Yeah. And I had a and decent internet connection. I was hardlined. Ran terribly. Oh, it, was, it was a horrible thing. It ran okay on I Xbox. Played a few things uh, too, Xbox I had a ton of, we're talking uh, about Xbox now, Dan. Games. We're not talking about the port, we're talking about the streaming service. This is I understand. Yeah. This is I understand. This I mean, this was the birth of it though. Like and it, I think this came on the it's funny too. I've been this was, listening. This was like the first it was like the first of its kind, man. It was it was like a big deal when they announced Huge. it. Yeah. Yeah. It's funny. I remember too. I'm thinking listening. like, holy shit, how are they gonna stream? Like, I know it, it was like witchcraft. There's no way. Yeah, it it was crazy. Man, I had that. Idea it was for that like a streaming service for games like like a long time ago, but I was still a kid and I couldn't do it. Now I hate myself. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it's funny too because I'm listening to a podcast from 2007 and something I'm wanting to catch up on from back in the day, and they're talking about like Netflix coming as a streaming service, and it's like this whole new thing, and you're like, oh, we were so ignorant back <laughs> then. Like, yeah, it's so weird. Crazy. Something that's so essential to everyone's life right now was just, it was yeah, magic. Especially right now, now, especially being in the pandemic where people are quarantined and have to stay oh, home. Yeah. It's like everyone's streaming everything now. Everyone's yeah, there's been studies on how, now. like, the one business that's doing, the, the, the few businesses doing well, like alcohol and every streaming service out there are just doing yeah, gangbusters. Right? Hot shots, like. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, that also um, brings us on to, we're talking here about retro games and stuff from the past. Uh, one game from the past that's kind of making it circle back around. A uh, love of mine. Um, a trilogy that's they are been talking about a remaster for the last... Um... No, it's not Michael Jackson, the experience, Tom. You came <laughs> close, though. It was, that was a, a good pull. But um, it recently leaked on a UK retailer about a release date. For uh, a release date very soon, by the way, coming next month for the Mass Effect Trilogy Remaster. I'm not just talking about Mass Effect 3. I'm talking about 1, 2, and 3 Remaster no, coming to um... <laughs> Oh, man. This is, I mean, after, after the fall of Andromeda and Bioware completely abandoning it after all the, uh, the hate and canceling all DLC, canceling any plans for it. Like, this is what we've been pining for. If you're not going to make us a new Mass Effect game, give us what we loved. In you know a, a it current gen, better, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Give us the Mako on Mass Effect One. We could drive it, but you know, feel good, not feel like we're driving around a M1 Sherman for the love of God. That thing is so clunky. If they can, if they can yeah. literally bring back that trilogy and like have the first Mass Effect feel like it's not like trying to struggle to keep up with the frame rate, like going into yes. like battle to the, well, the 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 or, react communication thing that they had going on with it like it could be a really great experience reliving those games man i i love uh, those games when they first came out like i i, so I really think they the level of detail that they went into creating that sci-fi world uh it, it was it, it was masterful man like it, everything was just they, they had the races down they had the planets down they had the the, the history down of like you know how we came to discover the protheans and like how everything just kind of turns into this vicious cycle of we 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 start from the beginning we evolve <laughs> we learn about these reapers mm -hmm. that just wipe everything out and start all over again it's just like spoiler alert okay woo. dan thanks <laughs> okay these games now came out like over 10 years ago i'm pretty sure if you haven't played mass effect by now you're uh, never gonna play it in your life so i mean but you know, Bruce Willis was dead the whole time on Sixth Sense. So for all those guys, oh, hey! that one, yeah, dude, I, I knew it. <laughs> yeah, so I think we're all excited for this. And even for those people who are new to gaming or never got a chance to go around the Mass Effect series, it is amazing. It's it's the first one's slow. Um, it, you wouldn't be blamed for just blowing through it and get the story out of the way. But the second and third one gets so much quicker with the action you're moving you're throwing powers out you're using your weapons it's 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 a beautiful game your choices call, carry through the, I per the, the big hate against mass effect you know what if you have never played the game i don't want to ruin it google it if you want but there's a lot of hate for the ending of mass effect 3 about it not carrying over choices blah 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 i loved it great game go play it what do you want to say Dan? i personally think mass effect 2 is like the matrix reloaded of the mass effect series man like it's just like action just like everything just comes back with a action. punch you're just like wow this is like yeah. the first one on steroids and the music the music the story yeah. everything like the way it progresses i'm just like wow this is and just you, so fucking sick it's everything i hoped for in yeah a, and you it, made it, some big choices on mass effect one but like 
They didn't come until like the biggest choices came at the end. Mass Effect Two was like, "We're coming at you. Decide who you want to live. You got to pick now." Like, and like it was very intense. And then three kind of took it. Like slow paced learning story. Like a lot. I feel like it was like a lot of like that kind of stuff. Backgrounds on people and like can, like Dan yeah. said, it's definitely like the Matrix Reloaded. Like two yeah. is just action packed, full of everything. But it's one what, of those games what, you could have finished in three hours. Or yeah. 65 hours, if you want to go look at the lore. Probably, I'm, yeah, I'm exaggerating. 20-hour right. story, 110 uh, hours lore. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. Yeah. One did but, a great um, job of laying the foundation. Like, they like, did. They, they took their time and actually made you know, yeah. something for p- players to come back to. When they when they got into two, they're just like, all right, I know the setup because one spent so much time laying the groundwork for what I'm going to play for these three games. And they weren't they open about this being a trilogy from the start? Yes. Yeah, yeah, it was a trilogy. You know? it, didn't, it was, they, they even laid it out to where um they were, they could have taken it after because if you finish number three, you could see that uh, they could have reset the series in any way they wanted and not had any issue with it because of the way the story was set up. They could have taken it to any universe, any cluster of galaxies that have been made. But um, guys, we're running along here. Um... That was a great episode. Hey, we tried some new bits out today. We talked about um, console uh, exclusivity. We got into the uh, background of Dan and Jessica a little bit. We got a peek behind the curtains of Danny. You know what I mean? But um, <laughs> don't, yeah. look too next, don't look next, too close. <laughs> next podcast, we're looking at um, interviewing another podcast, a little podcast called The Fad, um, who uh, consists of some long-term buddies of ours. So um, stay tuned. We'll probably record it separately and um, just kind of throw it in post on uh, the other shenanigans we involve in that day. But, um, hey, come back and listen. This has been the uh, second episode. But um, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, We do have a Facebook page up. We are at New Player Podcast. Um, Same with YouTube, New Player Podcast. If you want to come check us out, check out the first episode, give us a subscribe, give us a like, come comment, come react. Let us know how much you hate. Oh, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, thanks for listening. And that is the second episode. Say bye, guys. Bye. See you later. Bye. Guys. Thanks for tuning in.